I'm Dale Smith for Looney Politics, and there's been some talk about the F-35 procurement that the government finalized, uh, with a lot of uh, people saying this is a debacle, we wasted 10 years and got planes for even more money, um, and I'm not sure that any of that is actually necessarily true. Yes, the process took longer, but we actually made sure we had a proper process instead of the sole source uh, contract that the Conservatives originally were proposing, uh, based entirely pretty much on a marketing slogan. They kept saying that this was a fifth generation fighter, only fifth generation was a marketing slogan. Um, it didn't actually refer to anything and it sounded like a case of people within the military just trying to convince their political masters that um, to buy what they considered to be the um, hottest commodity without necessarily giving the proper justifications in terms of uh, specifications or what uh, was actually needed. Now, what the con uh, sorry, what the Liberals managed to do was an actual proper procurement process, and those are important because um, it ensures that you get the actual right plane that you need or the right equipment that you need, um, and that you're getting the best price, and you start. Um, answering all the questions that are left open by a uh, sole source process where you're not actually sure that this is um, the best equipment for the best price um, and instead is just kind of a, you know, whoever kind of got to the ear of the procurement uh, people at, at the time. Um, the other benefit of the time period between the original um, sole source plan and the current one is that the plane has um, fixed some of its problems. It hasn't fixed all of them. There are still a lot of problems with the F-35, but some of them have been corrected and that's important. Um, and we also now know that, you know, they are tested in the field in the Arctic, such as in Alaska and Norway, so that we can feel a little more confident that it's a plane that will operate in Canada's north because that's where a lot of its missions are gonna end up being. Um, it's important to remember that process does matter, and it's not just a case of um, what's expedient, because sometimes what's expedient doesn't get us the best quality or the, next, the best price. And I think the other thing that's important for this particular procurement is it, it wasn't one that was based solely on the notion of you know, regional job uh, creation, which is unfortunately the problem with a lot of other uh, procurement processes, the shipbuilding contracts being some of the most notable and some of the most problematic. So I'm not sure that this is an actual debacle, but I think it's a it's a lesson in why process matters, particularly in procurement. For Looney Politics, I'm Dale Smith.